we're stoked everybody came out to the Sandia Challenge all the way here to New Mexico. Hopefully we'll run a really safe race and efficient time-wise. We haven't set up the registration tent yet. Yet, okay. but if you guys want to practice at all, you can go to the top. It's a mile and a half up. What's going to happen is four people in a heat. If you take third and fourth, you go into another bracket. If you take first and second, you keep going in that bracket. The third and fourth round guys will be uh, third and fourth place. Third and fourth places will be racing third and fourth places until we bring them back into the main bracket. Is there any questions about that? Yeah. Is there any passing rules and stuff? You know. Yes. No passing. The <laughs> Quick start. We're we're gonna go with the lead rider has the right of way. And if you fall, you get up and ride again, right? You we're gonna go with the three second rule. If you're down for three seconds and don't move. We're closing the course. We're calling the EMTs. Since 1953. Yes, yes, and I learned from guys that were older than me <laughs> that were skating before that. You know, so I'm working on my 49th year. Next year's going to be my 50th year riding a skateboard. I'm glad it's where it's at now. It's gotten so much better, and it's only going to get better. The materials that they're using nowadays, like the the seven ply maple boards, the nice urethane wheels, the quality, top quality aluminum trucks that they're using. The quality of materials that have made everything better, plus there's more people in it now. Well, when I was a kid, there wasn't that many people in it, and everybody thought it was weird if you were riding a skateboard around. Well, give your sister her skates back. You know? I down with some practice with some different people that, that showed up here to race, and just got to follow their lines and check it out and see how it was. Pretty and, uh, yeah, watch them skate in front of me and just try to Follow the line. I'm starstruck. I just I want to I want to take my accomplishments and get them out there because I know that's gonna bring the score down. You know what I mean? Other people need to see uh, that this sport is more than just biker. You know, when when a couple other stars start pulling out, they'll give it more legitimacy. And you know, we need big sponsorship. We need we need another sanctioning body to come in and, and, and run some more stuff. I mean, four and five qualifiers a year, and then gravity is yeah. not enough. Yeah, it's got to establish a world champion. A world champion should be established on, you know, like 10 races. It's kind of like uh, skiing or snowboarding in the end of the winter. So you might be up doing some powder up high, and it's all sweet, and then you go through a little gully or something, and it's all spring snow with, like, frozen icy spots. You got a little loose patch, you know, you got to look out. So. We're just uh, getting ready for spring skiing, boarding here. JC's gonna call out the five numbers of the five guys who get to pick one person for their heat. That person gets to pick one person for their heat. What's that, now we're at three. The remaining guys pick a heat. It's a double elimination. The first two people across the line will be considered to stay in the upper bracket. The second two well, have been considered to lose, even though I don't like to use the word lose, but they're off the back, so they go into the, the loser's bracket. Um, if they lose a second time, they're out. They get, you know, that's the whole process of a double elimination. On your marks, get set. I like racing. Uh, Everything that let us roll down the hill, basically. I like adrenaline. I like speed. It's for the fun and the adrenaline and going down the hill fast. All around the world. Yeah, I've been doing uh, the last three or four years, traveling around the world quite a bit. South Africa, like three times. Europe, half a dozen times. Australia, a couple times. This is your career, pretty much? No, I got a 40-hour week job and a pretty cool boss. And. Uh, I just use all my vacation time and then even take time without pay, you know, so I can go travel with this crew and do something I like to do. How old are you? 
I'll be uh, 40 in uh, two months. I don't know if it's because of the, the era that we grew up in with, uh, you know, it was a little bit more carved and downhill oriented, it seemed like, back uh, in the late 70s. I know that I was doing a lot of downhill in the late 70s, and the wheels were bigger and softer, and the, what the kids are riding nowadays, are, uh, you know, it's all about tricks and flipping the board around. So we were a little bit more into riding, and uh, I don't know, racing is something that it takes a few years to get uh, your head on right sometimes to do it. So just like in, in any sort of racing, auto racing, uh, you know, a lot of times the older, wiser guys still have a chance. Kids these days aren't really into playing baseball and football and basketball like they were before. And kids are picking up skateboards and it's another form of self-expression for them. And they don't need to have anybody around to deal with them. You know, they can go out and have a good time with themselves and keep them, some, you know, keep them out of trouble. And I think downhill, you know, which was basically like the original event in skateboarding is, you know, almost come full circle. It has come full circle. Who's the judge? My, myself and Kate will be up at the finish line actually watching the boards come across the line and we'll be the deciding factor. It's a big responsibility. Yeah, I wish I'd brought a baseball bat because some of these guys are pretty mean. <laughs> And that was Casey that was second, right? Casey, take Chappet. No, Chappet caught him at the very end. Oh, Bye. He, he, thinks he's, he thinks he's first. It didn't look that way to either one of us. Dude. It did not look that way to either one of us. He was always in half of the board ahead of his Really? He pulled in. His, the nose of his board hit that line tape first. All right. It, it, yeah. You're still in the, in, right. it's cool. still advanced and you don't have it now. Cool. But that's just yeah, okay. I'm yeah. gonna need the paperwork before yeah, I go back. I know, I've got to figure it out. Because right. we had two opens, oh, we didn't yeah. even second. show. So I have to hold, hold reset that one. Dude, second. Stop psyching me out, dude. I thought you Dude, I thought I won. Do you think I'd say I won if I didn't? That's it, cool, dude. Well, I mean, it's not like you beat me by. You beat me by. Dude, check it. It's faster on the corners, and you know the straightaways aren't fast. Like, you know, I guess it's probably like 45, maybe 47 or something plus at the most. But not very fast. Like we're used to, like 55 plus, 60 plus. It's fairly controllable. You just have to, you know, work your way up slow. You just can't bomb down one of these mountain roads, you know, without a lot of training behind you. It's something you build up to. I mean, the first time you go down a hill, you know, 20, 25, and you just slowly work up to where you get comfortable at, at 45 or 50. And uh, as long as you respect what's going on, um, you know, you can you can get through the sport without getting hurt. That's how you slow down. That's a nice slide. Yeah. No going 50 and that's all I got on there. Knocked me out pretty good, but you know, we got some pretty, pretty good equipment to ride with. You know, it's all a mental thing and being smooth and, uh, you know, having technique and strategy, so. What about courage? Yeah, that's something I'm a little lacking compared to when I was, you know, 18. There's a lot of respect for each other. If you're doing downhill, then there's a lot of respect for the other people who do downhill uh, because it's not not that many people do it. It's kind of an elite group. Pretty much we're all tight, and you know if there is any problems between any of us, we always just get it out in the open, and you know everyone's pretty pretty vocal about how they feel about each other.
I didn't win it all yet, you know. Was, I mean, there's still the expression session, still the bank slalom, still the longest grind contest, but I enjoy, enjoy winning the downhill event, you know.